Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to draw this ring using FreeCAD. So this is how it looks in FreeCAD. Uh, so if you like this design, you can follow my tutorial. And also give me a like and subscribe. So thank you. Okay, so I start by creating a new document. And in the Sketcher Workbench, I create a new sketch in the right view. I create a center rectangle, something like this. I select uh, this line and I hit I, I set it to 0 0.75, enter. I select this line and I hit L, set it to 4. I select this point down here, this one, and I hit I. Set it to 9. I click on this uh, line up here and I turn that into construction geometry. Now I create an arc, end point and rim point arc. Start from this point, go here and come up here. I select this arc and set the radius to 8. Now we can close that. Now we go up to the view, toggle the axis cross to show the arrow. Now we go to the front view and with the sketch selected, I go to the purple bench. I click on the revolve and I revolve it in the y axis with 10 degree. Click OK. Now you can see we have a piece in here. Now I drop this one down and select the sketch and then revolve it. Also in the Y axis and this time the angle will be negative 6.5. OK. Now I go to the sketcher workbench and create a new sketch in the front view. I view the section and I will reference I will reference this line and this line. As a male, I create a center arc. Start from the center, put one point here and another point here. I select the arc and turn that into construction geometry. Next, I create a line. I select this line and this arc. And I set a constraint. I create another line from this point, go out like this. So this line have the horizontal constraint on it. I select this line and I hit L. 1.25 enter now i create a line connect from here to here now i can close that i go to the product bench i select this cat and i revolve it and i click on select reference and i click on this line and click OK. Now in the part workbench, I control select this P, which is the revolve 001, and control select this P, which is the revolve, and I go to the part, compile, and make compile. Now we have a new compile here. I click on the compile. I control click on the revolve. I go to the part, split, and then slide part. Now we have a folder in here. I drop this one down. You can see we have uh, five piece in here. I drop this one down, and drop this one down, and also drop the compile down. And I click on the revolve 001, and I show it. Now in the G view, I click on the Revolve 001, which is this page, 
and control click on this one this p over here you can see this one is uh, slide 4 and I go to union so you can see we have a new fusion in here I rename this one 1 and I click on this one which is the slide 3 and I rename this one 2 enter now I hit shift B and select everything and I hit space bar to hide everything now I click on the show and I click on the one and I show it I click on the page one this one I go to the option refine and set it to show so you have a clean show face down here and I click on the show and I want to mirror it to uh, the right to the right side so I go to the front view and go to the uh, drop open and make sure you turn on snap lock with a second piece as uh, selected I click on the mirror and I choose uh, this point and this point so we have another piece I turn off the grid now I go to the park workbench I select this piece and then control select this piece and I union them together I click on the fill new fusion and I turn the refine to true now I click on this face and I go to the fillet and I click on the select edge and click on the all and the radius I set it to 0.1 I click OK and then I click on this face and I click on the fillet and I select all the edge and set it to 0 0.1 okay now I need to mirror this page to the other side I go to the drop of pen again select this page go to the front view mirror it click on the mirror tool click on this point and this point now I go back to the park of bench I go to the front view and I click on this space and I rename this one piece one I click on this one and I rename it e2 click on this one and rename it Now you should have three pails like this. I go back to the drop bench. I select the piece one and I go to modification, array tool and polar array. Click on the reset point and eleven. Okay. And I click on the array. Go to the data, the axis, zero out the Z, and put a one in the Y. Okay, now I click on the piece two and doing the same. Eleven, okay. Set the axis, zero out the Z put one in the Y click on the page 3 
Now I drop the first array and I click on the first base and I hit Ctrl D and I set the material to go. I hit close. I click on the second array, click on the second page, hit Ctrl D, uh, set it to brass, close, and select this one, P3, brass, okay. and let's fill the shirt, P6, okay, now this is the final result. So thanks for watching.